Welcome back, fellow writers. Normally, I'm showing you how to design captivating book covers, but I also want to start offering basic writing advice as well. So today, we're diving into the world of fiction writing and uncovering the secrets to crafting irresistible openings that hook readers from page one. Whether you're an aspiring novelist or a seasoned storyteller looking to level up your skills, this video is packed with valuable insights and practical tips to help you captivate your audience right from the start. So let's dive in. Picture this. You're browsing through a bookstore and your eyes wander over a sea of book covers. Suddenly, one catches your eye. You're drawn in by its intriguing title and captivating artwork. And what made you stop and pick up that book? It's the book cover. And that's why I created this channel to help writers like you design captivating book covers. That's the first step in hooking your audience. So be sure and check out some of our book cover design tutorials. Now, let's discuss what keeps you reading once you've picked up that book and opened it to the first page. It's the opening lines, the hook, that grabbed your interest. And today, we're going to unravel the art of crafting irresistible openings that leave readers hungry for more. The first few sentences of your story have the incredible power to captivate or lose your readers. A strong opening establishes a tone, introduces the main character, and presents a compelling conflict. It sets the stage for what's to come and entices readers to keep turning the pages. So how can we create those unforgettable hooks? Start your story by introducing a protagonist with a clear goal, struggle, or desire. Make readers care about their journey from the very beginning. For instance, if the opening line was, Sarah walked past her framed PhD next to the front door, got in her car, and drove to her job at the telemarketing center, we'd immediately wonder why someone with a PhD is working at a telemarketing center. And now, not that there's anything wrong with it, but as a reader, we'd know that there's a story behind that. Use vivid imagery and descriptive language to engage readers. Instead of telling readers about the character's emotions, show them through actions and sensory details. Instead of telling your reader, Sarah hated her job, show us how she felt. For instance, you could write, Sarah sat at her cubicle, staring at the clock and stabbing the desk phone's buttons with the back of her pencil. Plunge readers into an intriguing conflict or dilemma that demands resolution. This immediately creates tension and curiosity about how the story will unfold. For instance, you could start your story with, Sarah had barely entered Mr. Brady's office before he blurted out the words, You're fired. While a strong opening is essential, avoid overwhelming readers with too much information. Aim for brevity, delivering impact with a few well-chosen words. Intrigue is a writer's best friend when crafting irresistible openings. We'll explore techniques like starting in medias res and plunging readers into the heart of the action right away. We'll also discuss the importance of posing intriguing questions, creating a sense of mystery, and introducing conflicts that immediately engage readers' curiosity. Drop readers into a scene filled with action, tension, or an intriguing event. This immediate engagement will put them into the story's core. For instance, Sarah had barely entered Mr. Brady's office before he blurted out, You're fired. The cleaning lady found these in your trash can. Mr. Brady held up two empty whiskey bottles. So at the opening of our book, we have dropped our readers right in the middle of something happening. It's like you had just pulled the veil and it's just like if you had just peeked into someone's day. Raise compelling questions that demand answers. This creates an intellectual hook, enticing readers to keep reading to find out more. Hint at future events or revelations to create a sense of anticipation and mystery. This encourages readers to seek answers throughout the narrative. Open with a captivating conversation that reveals character relationships or hints at hidden agendas. Dialogue can quickly draw readers into the story's dynamics. 
Emotions are a powerful tool in storytelling. We'll delve into the art of eliciting emotions from your readers right from the first paragraph. We'll discuss the impact of relatable characters, emotional stakes, and evocative language. By creating an emotional connection, readers will be hooked from the beginning. Readers are more likely to connect with characters they can relate to or understand. Show the protagonist's vulnerabilities, fears, or aspirations to evoke empathy. Convey what's at risk for the characters early on. By making readers care about the outcome, you'll deepen their emotional investment in the story. Avoid the save the world dilemma. A vivid and immersive setting can transport readers to another world. We'll explore how to craft openings that paint a rich and enticing picture using sensory details, unique locations, and intriguing atmospheres. By setting the stage effectively, you'll ensure readers are captivated from the get-go. Use your protagonist's observation and reactions to the surroundings to infuse the setting with personality and emotion. Avoid generic descriptions and instead highlight distinctive aspects of the setting. This helps create a world that feels fresh and intriguing. Go beyond visual descriptions and incorporate other senses to immerse readers fully. The sounds, smells, and textures can breathe life into the setting. Connect the setting to the character's emotions or the central conflict to deepen its impact and relevance. A good example is the bathtub scene in films. Typically, a character is seen crying in the bathtub or the shower. Another example would be the pouring out of one's emotions while standing in the rain. We often see this in you know, romance movies or romance scenes, uh, such as The Notebook. Now that we've covered the key elements of crafting irresistible openings, let's go over some practical steps to follow. Analyze the beginnings of well-known books across different genres. Take note of the elements that immediately drew you in as a reader. Try various opening techniques to see what works best for your story. Don't be afraid to rewrite and refine your opening until it captures the essence of your narrative. Share your opening with fellow writers or writing groups or even family and friends to gain valuable insights. Fresh perspectives can highlight areas for improvement and help you identify strengths. While crafting an engaging opening is essential, ensure that it aligns with your writing style and the overall tone of your story. Authenticity will resonate with readers. And there you have it. Crafting irresistible openings is an art form that can captivate readers and set your story apart. You're paving the way for an unforgettable reading experience by grabbing their attention from page one. So experiment with hooks and craft openings that leave your readers hungry for more. If you found this video helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more valuable tips on the craft of fiction writing.